Hey, how's it going guys? Koa here. I'm back with another video and this one is gonna blow your mind. This is an in-browser IDE that was built completely with HTML, CSS and jQuery. And it's pretty awesome. We're gonna be taking a look at it, examine the features and we're gonna see how we can make money from this as well because for some weird reasons, you can actually make money from this application. Let's see. So if you want to go to this website, I will leave this link in the description so you can click it and come to this website. It's a referral link. Um, when you go to pull.com, you're greeted with a familiar interface. We got the taskbar, we got the icons uh, in, at the center, just like you would have on the Windows 11 operating system and machine. You got the, the background that's familiar. This is, looks more like an Ubuntu kind of background, right? A Linux um, operating system kind of background. You got the icons, you can actually move them around but they snap back to this beginning position and right here are the applications and websites and apps that i have deployed and i'm also going to touch on that later in the video so we're going to look at some of the key features that might be exciting for you and the very first one that is pretty much exciting to me is the code you've got a vs code whatever maybe a wrapper a web i don't know you've got it right inside Puda, and it is pretty much decent the thing is you cannot install extensions, but you can as well create files, you can edit files, you got all the things that are lighting, but you cannot do your terminal won't run or something. Let me just let me just take a moment to play the terminal. Yeah, this is what you'll be stuck with, right? Nothing, there's no uh, node or whatever running, there's nothing, it's just blank. And but you can write your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript pretty cool. And that's what I did. Because when I go to the explorer and I go to documents and I go to yuck i can see the application i built so this is html css and javascript double clicking this will open up another window of the code where i can see the contents of my index.html file and this is what is there in container and hard and if i open the javascript you're gonna see the javascript code and css code but the exciting thing about this now is can I actually deploy this? Can I actually run this? Can I actually deploy this website? And yes, it is very possible because if I right click, you can see publishes website, deploy as app. I have published as a website, so I would like not to do it, but just for demonstration, let me click publish as a website. And you see, when I feel comfortable with whatever this name, I like it, Zilius Cow 9229. Good. This is what my high school should, teacher should be called publish right but i wouldn't do that because i just don't want to waste all the access i already deployed so i'm going to just show you and this is what you will get this is what you will get this is what is inside the code because i have tied up the all this are linked up inside code the index the script and the css for the styling and that gives you that awesome website you just saw and it's pretty much awesome because this is wow and i love it Anyways, let's move ahead and you can also see that we got the start menu where you can see other applications and you can see code, notepad, terminal. This is my application, by the way, but we'll get to that. Dev Center. If you open Dev Center, you can actually build your own application because these are all applications built by other people and uh, Notepad, Crocker, Dev Center and all the applications here, uh, they were built. If you, there's also an app center i just just show that quickly yeah, app center app center shows you all the applications that are available from yourself from other people and also shows like details about them and you can also add the application so to add the application that is where you have the dev center and that's where it comes in and these are all the things i have added this is not an application and i'm going to show it very soon so let me show you quickly how that works so i've used an application i call it rick tv the sweetest coolest most dope super charged application ever in the world rick tv and if you open it you're gonna be created with something awesome let's see i just double clicked it just i would like i would do on any other machine and that should come up as this nice little window that i can drag around because of course there's an operating system the the the, the, the position is, is is stored let's see what oh my god i don't know if you can hear that but that's some sweet music coming out of the pipes. I'm never going to give it. Anyways, back to the video. We're going to see that that's pretty awesome. I'm going to be doing how I built that, how I deployed it at the at, at another video, maybe, because that would just extend this explorer the video super long. But I can open it quickly to show you. Oh, no, settings. 
this one, I just want it to again. So I'm gonna open it quickly and I'm gonna show you that drop you can just drop your HTML CSS and JavaScript files here, which is exactly what I did. And but I can also configure the applications here. So that is pretty cool, and that is what the dev center allows you to do. We've got a terminal. The terminal is pretty much not that extensive. It contains the the bare minimum that you would have in Linux operating system. But apart from that, beyond that, you just have like a black screen staring at you. Not that useful, right? So the coolest part is this is an actually game. We're going to play Cronker. I'm going to open Cronker. And you will be shocked. So if I open Cronker, Cronker is a 2D game where you have like a first person shooter 2D game. I got stuck playing this stuff for hours right in your browser right in your browser right in your browser you got oh my god oh my god nah 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 ah all right enough of that i don't i don't want to i don't want to be stuck let me leave when i can all right man this is pretty awesome we're gonna look at it about and see what they describe pictures Pewda is a privacy for a personal cloud to keep all your files, apps, and games in one secure place. You can access them from anywhere at any time, and you can also build. So as developers, you can build something on top of Pewda in case you have Pewda.js. Now, this is the documentation. I will leave it in the description for you to check it out and extend. You've got space and the indication of how many storage you've used and what you have left. And this is 500 MB. I think it refers to the index of DB or one of the in-memory patch. I don't know. Or cloud. I'm not sure yet. I'm not familiar with it. You can also create an account. It's the account that allows your your state to be stored and the files you've opened to create it to be stored, and also all the applications that you've deployed, right? So, um, if you go to my website, you'll be able to see all the websites that you've deployed. I'm gonna just show you quickly what that looks like for me. Yeah, so these are all the websites I've deployed. I was pretty much scared that I keep deploying and I don't know where they were being stored. But you know, this just keeps track of everything. Required release address. Release address is just gonna delete the the, the 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 provision of this and also like delete the, the associated folder the folder stays but it's not going to be linked to this anymore and that's pretty cool all right and that is all the awesome things about pewter and i hope that you really really go ahead and explore this awesome in-browser ide that sorry in-browser operating system mind me but i'm gonna do like a video where i show you how you can deploy your own applications because you can actually make money from pewter and I'll maybe talk about that in the next video. And this is it. If you go to the, they have an incentive program where you can build applications and you can get rewarded for that based on some things. Um, a level of activity determines how much money you make and all about all those extra, extra white line you got to read. And that is awesome, guys. Very awesome. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And if this is something that you would consider, um, you know playing around with or using in some form maybe on a, an extra tab on your desk where you can just have things moving around and you know be good this is something that i would love to know and hear about if you explored it or you have questions please ask me i might not have answers to them but i would know that there's a concern and things that we can check out and that's it and that's all the awesome things about pewter i really hope that you let me know what you're feeling about it because this is ridiculously mind blowing and i really love the extent at which you are pushing this technology thank you so much for coming around to this video you know what it is and this is core signing out see you in the next one bye